Hi everyone, I'm Tim from GeoNet. Today I'll be showcasing GeoNet's RTK network in action with Whisper Sky Scout drone. Our RTK network delivers high precision positioning data, enhancing the accuracy of any drone with RTK connectivity. In this demonstration, we'll evaluate its performance by comparing return to home landings with and without RTK enabled. To access GeoNet's RTK network, you first need to purchase an RTK subscription from HiFix.ai. After your purchase, you will receive an email with your RTK login credentials, including your username and password. If you're interested in testing GeoNet's RTK network beforehand, you can sign up for a free 30-day NTRIP trial account. Simply visit our website, click the free RTK trial button in the top right corner, and follow the instructions to create your trial account. A GeoNet team member will then provide you with your temporary login credentials. Links to both purchasing and the trial registration page can be found in the description below. To connect to GeoNet's RTK network using the SkyScout drone, first turn on the drone and ensure that your controller is connected to your phone's hotspot. This one is already connected, so now we can go back to the home screen and open Whisper's ground control app. Go to the GNSS settings page on the controller and make sure that RTK is enabled. Scroll down to the RTK and trip settings and enter the RTK login credentials, including the host, port, username, password, and mount point. Once all of that information is filled out, go ahead and connect. The status should display RTK fix, confirming that the drone is receiving RTK data from GeoNet once you're clear from obstructions like tall trees or tall buildings. Now the RTK is configured, we're ready to test. We will conduct multiple tests using the return to home function. And the key metric here is how precisely the drone returns to its original takeoff point. First, we will test RTK enabled and observe the accuracy of the landing. Then we will disable RTK and repeat the process to see how much deviation occurs. After running multiple return to home tests, we observed a clear difference in landing accuracy between RTK enabled flights and those without. With RTK enabled, the Sky Scout consistently demonstrated sub inch accuracy. Here are the sample deviations from the original takeoff points. These results show an average deviation well under 1 inch, thanks to the centimeter level corrections provided by GeoNet's RTK network. Now let's look at the same test without RTK enabled. The accuracy dropped considerably, with deviations increasing to several inches away from the original point. That's a noticeable difference in precision with average deviations greater than 10 inches in both the X and Y coordinates during our tests. This clearly highlights the value of GeoNet's RTK data in applications where precision matters, from agriculture and surveying to infrastructure inspections and autonomous operations. This level of accuracy is crucial for applications that demand precise positioning, such as agricultural drones, surveying, and automated inspections. For agricultural use cases, RTK enhances drone precision for tasks like crop spraying, ensuring consistent and efficient coverage. For surveying and automated inspections, RTK positioning enhances mapping accuracy and ensures drones capture consistent data from the same vantage points. This reduces the need for manual corrections, increases data reliability, and improves long-term monitoring and analysis. GeoNet's RTK network delivers unmatched precision for a wide range of applications whether it's for commercial use mapping or autonomous operations. GeoNet ensures reliable and accurate RTK positioning. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. GeoNet, mind the sky.